who's who's kind of pinned in. I, apparently, she's been injured. She, uh, police said she had a she had a board either going through her leg or on top of her leg. She can't move, but she's obviously conscious. She's talking to people here, but she needs help uh, to get out of there right now. And uh, this is I mean, this is just one person here. I mean, you can count a dozen of them everywhere around here that need that need help. I mean, these you know you speak to, to someone a block away. And they rode out the storm in their hallway, said they were lucky when the, the outside walls of the house came down, but uh, they made it. And then you have people here that uh, tried to ride it out inside their homes, and, and look what's left of their homes. There's debris everywhere. And so we are constantly having sirens as uh, more and more medical crew come in here. Uh, they're absolutely needed right now because of uh, all the damage that we're seeing. As you see this we, can just, right Carl, we can just barely hear you over the emergency uh, vehicles and their sirens there, and that's understandable. Folks, the video on your left is the tornado from earlier, okay? Well, there's not currently a tornado on the ground. We want to clarify that. There are still strong storms that are threatening, and Gary and his team are tracking them. On the right, we are watching the rescue efforts and more. We understand the command post has been set up at the Warren Theater. If Carl or, or Michael can hear me, we need one of them and their photographer to run down the street from where they are and go to Briarwood Elementary, which is not far from them, at 149th and Hudson Avenue, which is about uh, two blocks to the west of Santa Fe. Uh, if you guys can relay that to them, we need to see, see what that school, that may be the school right, uh, I can't tell. Let's go to Jim Gardner. Jim Gardner, if you can hear us right now, uh, talk to us about where you are and what that is. Is that that gymnasium again? I think that's the same gymnasium we saw a little while ago, and I think that may be video of it. That's not a live picture from Jim, but the video on the right is live. Okay, the video on the left is video, it is recorded earlier. The video on the right is live. Rescue efforts underway in Westmore. A lot of it around the area of 149th and Santa Fe. And Please pray for there. these people, guys. Please pray it's, for these people. If you know people. where the Warren Theater is, folks, you can just kind of track west of there uh, for two or three miles, and this is where we're seeing a lot of this damage. And we also, okay, let's go back to Carl Torp now. And again, I, I think we might be able to hear him over the sirens. Go ahead, Carl. If you can, kind of try to hood that microphone a little bit. Well, okay. If you I, can I help these people, you help the these people. Emergency crews coming Please. In. They, they basically said they need to get a way out of here. Look at There's this. so much debris in the road, and with all these houses now gone, it's kind of hard if you don't know your way around here to, to understand where you're going. The street signs obviously are gone, the homes are gone, and, and you have these ambulances trying to get in here and get out. So we just had a guy over here, and he just hollered out, I need a way out, I need a way out. And so these people, as they're being taken out of their homes, and, and a lot of them are trapped right here, like this woman here, who, who actually, oh my gosh, can you... This woman has a, uh, a board. Let's be careful with the shot there, guys. She's impaled yes, uh, speak, by yeah. debris here. So it, it, this is, uh, uh, I mean, this, I'm injuries out here. And, and you have all these cars oh that are returned. It, it's, uh, it. it, it's chaotic oh out gosh. here. As, as crews are getting in here, trying to help these people as that's best horrible. they can. But at the same time, trying to get them to the hospital as quickly as they can. And that's kind of a challenge now when you have all this debris in the road. So... At, and, and we still have this fire that's burning out here in the distance. I'm not sure what that is, but it's about, uh, about that a half mile away from where these we people, are. God. It's been burning for the last 30 Please, minutes. Please, in Jesus' so, name, uh, amen. Chaos, and, and we keep on using the term war zone, but, but, but that's kind of what we have here right now with all the people uh, that, are, that are badly, badly hurt by the storm. Go ahead, Amanda. Okay, Carl, appreciate that. Uh, I do tell you, folks, this damage looks very much like what we saw May 3rd, 1999. And uh, homes losing. Michael, just hold up there. In, in the bathtub. You just got out of your house right now. Yeah, they, my neighbor. The house we were stuck. <laughs> oh, please help this woman, so you're God. In the bathtub and you're, you know, your two kids. Yeah. <laughs> I can still see the, the stuff in your hair right now. You're obviously shaken up. In your house. <laughs> It's gone. Our car's in our, where our house was. <laughs> Everything's you, gone. <laughs> how are you and your kids doing right now as far as feeling all right? Oh, I think so. He just wants to be checked out. He's scared, so he wants to make sure he's okay because I was on him. <laughs>
It was like everything above you just taken off. Our whole house is gone. Everything but where we were is gone. You, you were in your bathtub. We were in our bathtub. If, had you not been in your bathtub, it could have been a much different story, right? It would have been completely different. You're, the important thing is you all are okay. My husband told us to get in the bathtub immediately and put the mattress on. And when we put the mattress on, I got on top of me and it hit our house. And I held her in by her hair. They were trying to take her away. Did you live here during the 1999 tornado? No. This is our first one to go through. All right. Well, I don't want to, like, go here. Let's uh, try to find some emergency. Michael kind of pops it down and more. And folks, people are just wandering. We remember this from May 3rd, 1999. Folks, are, people are just uh, understandably just dazed and, and lost by what is happening. A fire burning back in the ground. Uh, background. We will hope and pray that this does not turn out to be like May 3rd, 1999 was. <laughs> yes. We lost 44 lives that day in the strongest tornado ever recorded. I tell you, we've, we've seen what certainly looks like some fatality situations in vehicles on I-35, which oh, is what happened last time as well. But this time they were just smashed up against the center barrier. That's the That's like Warren Theater right there. Yeah, yeah, and you can definitely tell that they just got stuck there right as that storm was coming through, and they had no time to go anywhere 